back to the uh, relationship between the model and the tree. So again, you remember we, we picked the facade and we said center graph on. So here's, here's the part file that contains that, that part of the facade. So now um, if, I, if I select the element in the tree and right click, I can say reframe on. And so this does the, the um, mirror of, of what uh, center graph does. If I, if I found it in my model tree and I want to locate it in my model, uh, my model view, I can just say reframe on. And it centers, maybe you can see that a little clear if I move, move off. Okay, here I've located it in the tree, reframe on, and boom, it recenters it, shows it highlighted in the, in the model view. Now we can also um, choose to hide and show different elements of the model. Um, that's, it's not really going to affect uh, anyone else's view of the model unless you um, choose to save, save, save it in that uh, hidden state. But just say for now, um, we, wanna, we don't want to see any of the uh, building envelope. So I can right click and say hide show. And so that's going to hide all the um, glazing and steel that's included in that facade that's grouped together. So I can look through the look through and look inside the the model and get a clean open view of the model. And if I just I can just go back and. If I click it again, it comes right back. So, and and you'll get used to um, using quick keys. So, like in this case, uh, if I select it and do Control H, that hides it, and make it reappear again just by again doing Control H. So, pretty straightforward. Um, one thing I've noticed that uh, when we're conducting um, trainings here at Gary Technologies, one thing I've noticed is that sometimes people get lost because they accidentally press this, uh, this little navigation tool in the corner. So just to show briefly, if you press this, this navigation tool, you'll notice that the model goes gray. And if I hold down the middle mouse button now, it moves the model tree around. So really, this is like a switch, um, which allows uh, someone to go back and forth between navigating the model and moving and navigating the model tree. So if we want to return right back, all we need to do, and I found cases where people have accidentally pressed this and, and they don't know what's going on. Why is, it, why is it moving around like that? So all you need to do is press that navigation tool again, the little XYZ, and you can see it's on grade and we're back to our model view. So pretty straightforward. Um, I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about um, parts and products. We, we, we talked a little bit already before, um, but I want to I want to explain why it's important that we <clears throat> we have a clean um, we have a clean organization of the model, and we uh, we deal with it um, in that fashion so that um, it's uh, it's it's easier for everyone, assuming that you're working in a team of people, um, it's easier for everyone to, to navigate. So, um, so again, just briefly, I'm going to, I have, I have a, 
a MAR um, project product, which if I look um, if I look on the in the model that I downloaded, it's located right here. And then there's um, a folder which is building one. And this corresponds to the MAR building one. So if I open that up, I should see uh, basically these are all the, the products, ENV, HL1, HL2, Mechanical, Penthouse, Podium. These are all the products which correspond to the products in the tree here. So if we, um, and basically the, the, the structure, um, while digital project gives you a lot of flexibility, and so you, you can choose to place the actual cat parts and products wherever you want to. Um, the best method that we found is to mirror the structure of your uh, model tree with the with the organization of your model files. One quick note. Um, I've noticed people doing this that uh, you want to double click. Sometimes people want to double click the file to open it up. Um, best thing is to open digital project first and then do file open like we did in the beginning or to drag the file into the window. Um, if we double click, it's going to start a second session of, of digital project. So we don't want that. Um, so just remember that either do file open or go into find the file in, in Windows Explorer and, and drop it in. So let's talk a little bit um, about these, these uh, parts and products. So again, we have our, our, our project um, product and our site and our building. And then down we have our, our drivers. And um, we'll get into that in a, in a later webinar. But basically what this contains is all the geometry that's used to build um, the model from the ground up. So in this case, uh, your drivers are generally going to include your levels. Uh, which which um, which are planes in this case, which uh, the floors and the walls and everything is built upon. Uh, grids, and again, maybe maybe I should just show how what this looks like inside the part, just so you understand. <clears throat> So I'm just going to enter this this part real quick. And you can see that it's broken up into levels, and we have level planes, um, which we'll get into um, in our next uh, session, dealing with uh, basic modeling and, and how to uh, create the model geometry. But basically, it's, it's just important to understand that all all the model geometry is based on very basic elements. You have planes, you have lines, you have points, and you build everything off of those basic elements. So in this case, our, our level driver includes um, a set of planes, each of them having a different offset. And that's how, that's how we fix uh, the different levels of our building. Of course, that also means that we have, um, we retain a relationship. And if we wanted to change those planes, we could actually update the whole model um, if, if just one, one level changed. It would update every element of the model because 